I will. <laughs> okay, now I can hear him. Something simple. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys want to draw a real simple dragon? Okay. When I started drawing dragons? Oh, I drew dragons when I was in school. Uh, yeah. Um, I hear some chanting. Uh, I drew, drew dragons when I was in school, and I'm just wondering if I might even have one that I drew when I was in school. If I don't have it this time, the next time that we do this, I'll find it for you guys. One quick, simple, simple dragon. Okay. Let me just close that so I know what I'm looking at. You guys can see my board. Okay. We're starting again. Fresh page. And I'm gonna What's that, sorry? Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Here we go, a dragon. A dragon. Do you want to help? Oh, okay. Okay, get up here. We're switching. We got we got a helper coming up here. Just give me one second. Come on, up you come. Look at me. Why do you give me one second? There you go. Do you want to say hi to everybody? No. No. Okay. All right. We're back to our dragon here. All right, a simple dragon, hey? All right, let's draw an oval. And draw it light, because we're gonna, oops, I'm getting, I'm getting bumped as I work now with my little guy behind me, so my oval is not gonna be the best oval ever here. Doesn't have to be though, nice and light. That's gonna be the dragon's body. And then we'll do a circle for the head up uh, I'm over right about here. And I don't I don't know what this guy's gonna look like in the end, so I'm I'm making him up as I go. Like I say, here I got my I got my helper. He's helping. There he is. And then we're going to have the neck come in like a reverse S shape from the top of the head to the top of the back. And then from the bottom of the head down to the bottom or near the bottom of the oval. And then, let's see here. Do you want that? you want the pen? You want that? Sorry. There you go. Okay. And then, let's see, we're going to do the tail. It's going to come off the back. And we can just do just an arc like that for the tail, the top of the tail. And then the bottom of the tail. Just 
It's like a sideways V. Now I think we will put the feet down there, just a little oval for one foot, and then almost a big C for the other foot. No, oh, thanks, my guy. Once you have that already, we're going to do the front legs, come down to that, just a slight angle down to the first oval we drew. And then again on the other side. And then for the other leg, we'll come off the base of the neck and go down right about to the middle of our C. And you can actually join that C right up with the other foot. Okay. Now for the back legs, we'll do something simple, almost exactly the same thing. We'll do a little oval for the one foot, a C for the other foot, then we'll draw our line down to the side there. Down to the side there. We'll come down to the top of the middle of the sea there. Starting to come together. Oh, what should we do next? How about we put his wing in? So his wing is going to have a shoulder. So it'll be a round shoulder muscle. And it'll come up at an angle. the other way. Again, like you're drawing a V right here. And then we're going to do a little arc coming off the top. And then we're going to draw little C's down right to the bottom. actually bring this up but as soon as I start drawing then I disappear so I hope you guys are having fun okay 
And now we're going to go from the other side of our shoulder muscle that I drew in there, and we're just going to draw his arm up like this. Another V kind of beside the other one. And it's going to meet this point right here. So it's going to come across to a sharp little point. And if you want, you can put a little hook in there for his little dew claw. I think that's what they're called. Now, this can be a little tricky here. We're going to draw the other wing in behind. So it would start down here, but we wouldn't see that. We only see what appears above his body. So his shoulder's going to, it's going to come up a little bit there, just like over here, and then back behind his head. And then you'll see a little bit of the arc come out. And then you can draw a C down to meet the other wing. And maybe another little C down here. And there you have the wing that's hidden behind the other wing. Next, we get the fun part. We're going to make a face on this dragon. What kind of face shall we make? That's the big question. Shall we make him with a, give him a long snout? So we can put another circle out where you want the end of his nose to be. And then we're going to draw a little U shape from his top of his nose to about the middle of his head. Oh, let's see. And if you want, you can put his nostrils on now, which would be like upside down U's. draw a little V down here. This is his upper lip. And then not, not quite at the end of that line. Come back a little bit and draw a little line like that. It just kind of tips up at the edge. And, and we're going to do that same line about three times. But we can continue this line out a bit. You could give him a smile, you can give him a frown. After that you can draw some some V shapes for teeth hanging down. Then we're going to draw some eyes. You can just draw a little C over there and an O. I'm going to let you guys catch up for a couple seconds in case I'm getting too far ahead of you.
okay, once we're all caught up, we can draw the, the pupil in his eye. You can have him looking forward or looking back. I like kind of drawing, looking out at us. So one dot there, one dot there, like he's looking out, wondering what the heck we're doing. Okay, and then comes some more fun. We gotta decide what kind of spikes we're gonna put on this guy. Are we gonna do some long horns that come way back? I kinda like those ones. So I'm gonna draw just a little C where the horn connects to the head. Like that. And from the top of the C, you can just draw your line back. You can make it any sort of line that you like. You want to give them short horns or long horns. You can just give them little stubby horns. You could give him wobbly horns. You could curl the horns around like a ram. Then when you decide on your horn, you can go to the other side, which would be right about there. And again, you don't draw that part because it's behind his head. So you got to kind of come up where you think that horn would be coming in. And just kind of mimic the horn that you just drew. I think this is coming along pretty good. I hope you guys are having fun. I can't wait to see your uh, your dragons. And then next, I think we could add some claws to those feet. So. Draw a little upside down U. And then another one coming out off right underneath it. Same on the back foot. Now this 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 foot here is kind of coming straight towards us. So his middle claw would kind of be upside down U over top of a V there. And then the other claws would join like that and come off at a slight angle. We'll do the same on the back foot. Oh, look at that. What's that? It's like a red nose. <laughs> it's not a red nose? Yeah. Okay. Now, what else can we do to our dragon? We can add some spikes along the back. We come up like this. They are just basically triangles. Uh, let's see, that one would be about there.
And then if you want, you could put bigger spikes in the in this tail, kind of like his horns. Just come up. Like stretched upside down bees. And then we're gonna have the ones on the other side, but they're gonna come off at the other angle. So that's a little tricky to draw. Well, I'm sure you guys could do it. Yeah, I think that's about it. That's a pretty, pretty good dragon, I think. And if you drew lightly, you can erase some of your lines that you don't need in there anymore. <laughs> it's a pretty funny looking dragon. I like him. up in there. All right. Well, that was fun, my good guys. I, uh, I hope we get to do this again soon. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can uh, pass them on to Mrs. Rolston, and she will let me know, and I will have answers ready for the next the next visit okay all right you guys keep drawing and hopefully we'll see you again maybe next week when we do the mountie transition over there bye guys <laughs>